Hi everybody, Miss G here. So hope that we've all had a lovely weekend and a great week, obviously doing lots of acts of kindness. And remember, just because Mental Health Week's finished doesn't mean that you need to stop being kind because we should be kind all the time. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is this. I've been thinking during this lockdown, it's a big part of history. Nobody's experienced it before. And in 30, 50 years time, people are going to be asking us, oh, what was it like, you know, being around during lockdown or what was it like being a child during lockdown? What did you do? So what I thought would be nice is, is if we did like a project. So a little bit like our homework projects when you can bring things in to show, that's what I was thinking about doing. So I was thinking, calling the project Lockdown Life. I know, a bit of alliteration I thought was good. So Lockdown Life, what I want you to do, I want you to start putting things together about everything that you've done during lockdown. So if you've been making things, don't throw them away, keep them, bring them into school and show everybody. You know, you might want to start writing down what you've done. You might want to draw pictures. If you want to make models, if you want to do anything, you might want to, um, you know, make a little video. It's up to you. Bring it in and we'll all watch what everybody's been doing because I can guarantee that everybody will have done something different. You might have been learning a new skill. You might have been learning to speak Spanish or French. You might have been... And um, practicing your gardening skills if you've got a garden, you know, you might have, or you might have just been doing some potting in the house, you know, doing some seeds and um, growing things on the window, anything. So anything that you've been doing, I want to know about and I know everybody in class will want to know about. And it'll just be a great way to find out what's been going on since we haven't been able to see each other for so long. So think about what you want to say when you're going to come to school. Think about what you're going to present. You don't just have to show one thing. You could um, have a couple of different things that you've been doing throughout. That would be great. The more I say, the more the more the merrier. So um, write it down, draw pictures, make models, make a video. I know some people like to do PowerPoint, things like that on the computer. Anything you've got, basically anything you've got at home to make it with. So I don't want you going out and spending any money. Just whatever you've got around in the house, that's what you can make. Um, you know, if you've got paper, if you haven't got any paper, use the battery cereal box, anything like that. Okay. So I just really want to see what you've been up to. And um, when we do get back to school, it will be just great to find out. And I'm going to be doing it myself as well. So we can all see what everybody's been doing. Okay. So be safe. I can't wait to see everybody's projects when we get back. And remember, keep being kind to people because we need to be kind all the time. Okay, so I'll see you later and be safe. All right, do you later, everybody. Bye.